Good morning. Yeah, and if you recall, Annie, and if you've been paying attention over the last year, 2021 became the year of arrests for Capitol riot suspects. Hundreds of them across the country arrested, brought back to the district and put into jail. Some have taken plea deals so far. However, that means that 2022, the Justice Department moves to the next phase of the Capitol riots cases, taking the remaining majority to trial. Thousands of people laid siege to the Capitol on January 6th, but when the dust settled that day, police had only made a handful of arrests. Then in the weeks and the months that followed, one of the largest Justice Department investigations of all time brought in hundreds of arrests. In 2021, prosecutors brought charges against more than 700 people. It's a process that former prosecutor Nima Ramini says, understandably, can feel like a slow walk to justice. I know folks have said this has been dragging on, but some of it is just the infrastructure that's in place. It's not intended to churn out volume like their counterparts in state court. To date, around 725 people have been arrested, 350 of them for committing violent acts. And of that 725, around 165 have already pleaded guilty, which means hundreds still await trial. I expect that the cases that do go to trial, they will be relatively easy convictions for the government, but they will also be a circus because of the folks who are actually on trial. Those trials are scheduled to begin this year, not long after the anniversary of the Capitol breach. According to court documents, one of the first trials will be a Texas man, Guy Wesley Raffitt. Raffitt faces several charges, including obstruction of justice, but like many of the accused rioters, he faces no charges of insurrection. It's much easier to prove that obstruction count, the substantive count, because all you gotta prove is that the individual was in the Capitol building, obstructing an official proceeding. That's a layup type of case compared to the conspiracy charge. And today the Capitol will mark the grim milestone of one year since the attack as the road to justice heads to the courtroom. Attorney General Merrick Garland spoke yesterday about the Capitol riots just before the anniversary. And he said, if you can believe this, they expect more arrests to come this year. And to give you an idea of just how many they're seeking, federal police say they're looking for at least 350 people they believe were involved in the Capitol riots that have not been arrested yet. When this thing is all said and done, it could be in the neighborhood of thousands of people who are arrested for the Capitol riot.